himself a minibus to turn it into a house. Come along for the ride, it will be an adventure. Cause he's not sure yet how to turn a minibus into a house. Hello everyone, uh, this is my good friend Jack. Jack this? Yep. I like, I like you there. Jack this all on the floor. Anyway, sorry, I'll probably cut that. So this is my friend Jack, and what Jack does for a living is converts vans and vehicles into houses. And funnily enough, I'm here trying to do that to this. So uh, how's it going, Jack? Mm, good. Oh, this is a, a different project for me. I'm normally working on vans rather than big coach built things. But yeah, pretty cool. But uh, but you're positive? You, 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 think, you think I can, can... I think you can certainly yeah. turn it into something interesting. Excellent. Something interesting. Okay, good. This little guy is just eating this other little guy. He's just eating his head. And the other little guy's still twitching a bit. Oh. It's the circle of life. I mean, I'm not a fan of flies. I'm really not. I don't, don't like them. But you know, everything, everything does. Everything's got a right to live. Would say goodbye to Fidel Castro, but not for that. Which That's what collecting Tim McLaddin in a tiny little golf looks like. So uh, glad to be clad in. Glad in. All right then. Today it's going to be mostly about. Cladding. Uh, I'm going to put some timber, tongue and groove timber, all up in here, screw it into these steel uprights, put some recycled plastic insulation in behind it because, you know, recycling. And I'll let you know how I get on. So I've got my clad rags on. Let's go cladding. Hey. <laughs> Right, that's the first board on. Aren't you clad? Right, then I'm gonna put some glue in the grooves or on the tongues and then uh, stick it, screw it, stuff some insulation in it, put some solar panels on later in the week. Also, this week, this Saturday, which is well, today if you're watching this when I've released it, I've got a gig here tonight. So if you see this, come on down to the Burger Alchemist, who are going to be doing a pop-up burger restaurant night. And uh, we're going to be playing a few songs. So come on down, have yourself a burger. They're very good. They have vegetarian options as well, because I know a lot of my friends are non-meaty people, as am I non-meaty people. Uh, the veggie burger is very good. And I'll play some songs. Songs. I bet you'd be glad about that. Remnants of the dream I'd been a grandfather White nostril hairs And button down chinos Using a bit of a PVA, a bit of wood bonding glue In the grooves Way In the groove For the clads like I promise that's the last one Probably And her eyes looked up at mine So in We're clad in Cladding in the name of the van. Oh, we're cladding, 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 we're cladding. Come and go and clad my van. Okay, I'm not always done. And kind. And she asked me, Granda, what was it like at the time? So I told her a story that started in 2016 when the legends all died. Just had to pop up to B and Q to get a new pilot drill bit because the last one I had just snapped, uh, and I had to buy the e bar ones because it's the only ones they had in stock. Now they're a little bit more expensive, but they are a better quality. And you know what they say: you pay monkeys, you get peanuts. Something like that, anyway. And I've got some T coil to uh, 
boil it all up nice afterwards. Lost Victoria Wood. Say goodbye to Fidel Castro, but not for that which he stood. In the summer we voted to leave the EU. And I thought that's probably not good. Little bit of tea coil on it. Kind of, <laughs> kind of gets you a little bit giddy. Uh, plenty of ventilation. I think that's me for today. Are you clad and finished for that? That's the last one, I promise you. Well, born in one place, and our culture of greed and avarice, deforesting all over the place. And the systemic racism that was woven into the fabric of every single Feels a little bit like a two-person job, this one. You want this really heavy battery up there? I do want that really heavy battery up here. I got this. Oh, jeez. Good! <laughs> it's pretty heavy, dude. Uh, you got it? There's the gland. There's the solar panel. This is going to be kicking out 255 watts of pure sun energy. The energy of the Earth's sun. Ha 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 ha. Look. Go on, Jack. Do the wiring. There he goes. There. See, the battery's pretty, pretty fully charged at 14.4 volts, uh, and the load is working. So that light bulb means the load that. Is working. These two cables, which go to our fuse box here, all these are individually fused. Uh, not working at the moment, obviously, uh, and that's all working. Uh, we yet to put the inverter in, uh, but it has been appropriately fused there, so that positive and negative will just go on to our very temporary battery setup, um, and it will all work a treat, really. It's alive! It's alive! <sighs> so, hello again, everyone. Uh, this is Jack, uh, my very good friend, who um, who's built this. Crafter, he's converted this crafter to a beautiful, luxurious home to live in, which we'll be selling to someone who snapped up immediately. It's very expensive, but it's worth the money. Now, what Jack's done is for his water system, uh, he's got his tank just there. Now, I don't know if you recall around about episode four of these van diaries, where I strapped a tank to the underside of my van. And it was a bit of a rigmarole, I don't mind admitting. And I don't know if I'm ready to let go of that yet, but, but see this here? That's how he fills it up. Just unscrew that, pop your water in there. Screws on all nice. And I'm currently in the throes of trying to decide if I undo the several days of work of strapping mine to the bottom of my van. Oh, it's sickening. It's such a big mistake. Where were you? Where were you like two months ago? I, think you... I blame Jack for this. I blame Jack almost entirely for this. But I may have to remove my water tank from the underside of my van and move on and move on with life. That's how we do it, isn't it? We just I think it is the right thing to do. Oh, damn you, Jack. Damn you, you beautiful bastard. Oh, I'm not swearing on this, am I? But you. <laughs> so I might have to, um, I might have to change my whole outlook on water system. But I, I, I'm sort of starting to feel a lightness as I begin to make this decision. This is the thing, it's easy to get entrenched in a decision. And this is what I, what I do and what is historically done in this van is like charge on headlong and then try and deal with stuff. Whereas it seems like I need to breathe change my previous decision, make my peace with it, try not to hate Jack, because it's not technically his fault. Um, what's the name of your company, Jack? Snow and Peak. Snow and Peak. Jack converts vans into houses for a living. The company is Snow and Peak. They're very, very good. I'm very, very grateful for his help. I'm just a little bit upset with myself. <laughs> I'm going to get over it though. I like myself quite a lot. Anyway, I've rambled on quite a lot in this section. I don't know how much of this is going to make it in. You. 
think it's, yeah, you've got a huge amount of room in that van. Loads of room. Two Loads bedroom. of room. You have a nice big garage. It's just easy maintenance. It's easy cleaning. Because trust me, you're going to want to clean the inside of your water tank at some point. So Even if it's not, you know, it's infrequent, just getting in there and being able to sponge it out. Do you know what it was? It was just because I've got so much space underneath, it seemed foolish to not mm. use that space. Mm. And now it turns out it was... I've not used it well enough for it to not still be foolish. So who is the more foolish? The fool or the fool who follows him? You know what, Amos? Uh, I've just had a bit of a thought. You're going to have to take it out because the drain plug for the tank, if you turn it up the opposite way, the drain plug is now at the top of the tank, which means you'll have to put some sort of funnel or hose into the tank in order to actually get any water out of it anyway. The tank's coming off! <laughs> right, the tank's coming off, all right? So, that's going to do for this week. Uh, big thanks to Jack for, uh, for helping me put a solar panel on the roof and wiring it in all nice. Um, if you're anywhere near East Compton tonight, come on down to the Burger Alchemists. Uh, I'm going to play a few songs. Food from half five to half seven. Um, if you're watching this at any other point in the future, don't show up because it's probably finished. But come down anyway. It's a good farm shop. The wave is here. Uh, lots of good stuff. I've had a great time this weekend. It's been an emotional roller coaster, as it always is. I hope to see you all next week. Peace and love. Say goodbye, Jack. Goodbye. Got himself a mini bus to turn it into a house. Come along for the ride, it will be an adventure. Cause he's not sure yet how to turn a mini bus into a house.